Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vernon Wong. Uh, I will be presenting about how to turn a protein into a gene and why we are going to do that. First things first, we have to know what a gene and a protein is. A gene, basically, is a sequence of DNA that codes for a protein. These proteins can be um, building blocks or enzymes. Genes normally uh, in a human, as you can see here, would be um, formed in a chromosomal shape, like this X you see here. And they contain exons and introns, that's it. E. coli, for instance, you can see on the right, has a circular ring-shaped DNA structure. It's much more simpler. So. Um, compared to E. coli, we have, as humans, um, around 20 to 25,000 genes, whereas they only have a few hundred. Transcription and translation is the process of turning a gene into a protein. The gene is read as a recipe by ribosomes, you can see in this um, brown colored blob. Uh, you can see that RNA polymerase, which is an enzyme, copies out a sequence of mRNA, you can see in red, and it's fed through a ribosome, which puts, which reads the recipe and puts together a polypeptide, which in essence is a protein. A protein is a fairly large organic molecule. It comes from the folding of the amino acid chain you saw in the previous slide. So proteins can either be, as I said earlier, building blocks, or they can be enzymes that serve to do one particular function. The protein that we are working with is a cellulase. It's an enzyme that breaks down cellulose. Mass spec is our method of um, beginning to turn the protein into a, a gene code. Um, mass spec is basically using this tube metal tube you see in the picture, and we're going to shoot fragments of the protein through the tube. The machine, well, the computer will read the um, read where each molecule lands and through some complex algorithms determine the order of the amino acids by mass to charge ratios. So each amino acid is coded by a codon, which, it, which is a three nucleotide unit. Um, if you look in this illustration right here, you can see that multiple um, codons can code for the same amino acid. So going back from protein to gene is a little bit tricky. So in order to do this, we have to find what kind of organism it is, what organism we got the cellulose from, with the 16S ident identification that Virginia mentioned earlier. Um, and by looking through the organism's DNA, we can see what, what two or three codons it uses for a certain amino acid. And by doing that, we can sort of figure out how to build a gene off the amino acid sequence. <clears throat> how do we use the primers that we get from the amino acid sequence? Uh, because we want, ideally, seven amino acid fragments when you break the cellulase into pieces. That turns into around 21 base pairs long as a primer that you can see as this gray rectangle. 
um, we will do some PCR amplification, and we will take this gene, which in our case would be the cell H gene, and get probes out of it. These probes will be radioactively labeled, and I will explain more of that in two slides. A uh, library is basically a source of um, variants of the our original organisms' genes that we got the cell eggs from. These um, colonies you see in the picture are E. coli with various genes from the organism we isolated the cell eggs from. That this is this comes from doing. PCR and transformation, and we can, e each of these colonies you, can, you see on the plate right here have a different number of genes, each gene would be different. Some of these genes code for the cell age that we're looking for. So how to probe a library? Well, looking at the probes that we looked at two slides ago, uh, they were radio radioactively tagged. So through, um, so in order to probe the library, we'll have to subject our library to these probes and see which of these colonies can show the radioactivity that we tagged the probe with. Um, so we can pick up those colonies with radioactivity because we know that whatever colony glows or whatever the radioactivity, sh wherever the radioactivity shows, we know they have the cell lace gene because our probes came straight from that gene. And that's our process from amino acid sequence. Uh, we make primers, we build a library, and we probe the library to find which colony has our um, cell ACE gene. These are the references. Uh, the next step in our project would have to do with how to improve the enzyme efficacy and how to get more of this enzyme, something along that nature. And Alea will um, present on those topics. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.